Hello and welcome to The Real Unreal. This is the first episode of the Health and Damage series, where we will learn how to create a reusable health component to be used in any actor we want, including our character. Let's get started. Project Setup Create a new project using the third person template and make sure to select the starter and content. Create a new directory called Health and Damage. Creating the health component. In the folder you just created, add a new blueprint class and select actor component as the parent class. Set its name to BP underscore health component. All classes that inherit from this parent should be suffixed with component by convention. Open the blueprint and let's start. First, add two new float variables, health and max health. Health is the current health and max health is the total of health. Example, our max health will always be 100, but the current health could be 50 after we have taken some damage. Compile and set a default value for max health. I will set it to 100. In the begin play event, let's set health equal to max health in order to initialize the current health to the maximum value. Now, the way we're going to update our current health is through the event on take any damage from the owner of the component. The owner is the actor that owns the component. In our case, will be the character actor. In the event graph, search for get owner and from it, search for on take any damage. Select the option bind event to on take any damage. From the event pin, drag and search for add custom event. As the name of it, set on damage taken. This event will be executed every time the owner of the component receives any kind of damage. The next thing to do is to update the value of our current health based on the damage taken. As you can see, the event we added has a float parameter called damage that we can subtract from health. Calculate health minus damage. And before updating the health variable with this new value, add a clamp node. Clamp allows us to restrict the value we pass in between a minimum and a maximum. This is great for our use case to prevent health from going below zero and above max health. From the subtract result, search for clamp and select clamp float. As a minimum, set zero. As maximum, set max health. And now, this is the value we assign as the new health. To notify the component's owner that health has changed, let's add an event dispatcher. Add a new event dispatcher and name it on health change. In the details panel, add a new parameter and name it new health. Then, Drag the event to the event graph and select call. This event will be executed every time health changes and as a parameter we will send the new health value. Additional to notify when our health changes, it's convenient to add another event dispatcher to call when the health reaches zero. Add a new event dispatcher and name it unhealth depleted. Drag it to the event graph, select call, and execute it every time the health value is equal or less than zero, using a branch node. With this event, we can add logic that occurs when our health is depleted. In the case of our character, this will be all the logic around death. In other example, we can think of an explosive barrel, to implement the actual explosion when health is depleted. Compile, save, and now you have a reusable health component created. Using the new component. 
Open the character blueprint. In the components tab, press add, search for health, and select the health component you just created. Once added, select the component, go to the details panel, go to the event section, and you will notice the two events we created before. Let's do a print string in both. Add the on health change event, add a print string, and from the print string, add an append that has new health column space as the first value and as the second value the current health. To better visualize this message, change the color to a different one. I will set it to green. And set health as the key. Print strings with the same key get overridden by the last one so we always have the most recent value printed in screen. Now, add the unhealth depleted event and add another print string. I will set the message character diet in red color. To visualize the changes in health, we need to inflict damage to our character somehow. For now, I will simply assign a key that will deal 25 points of damage to ourselves. In my case, I will use the one key and call the apply damage function on press. From the damage actor parameter, drag and search for self, selecting reference to self. Also, set the base damage parameter to 25. Compile, save and press play. You will see that when pressing the one key, the health of the character gets updated and the new value is printed in screen. If the health reaches zero, we receive an additional message telling us that our character died. If you keep pressing the one key when the character already died, we still keep taking damage and really nothing changes. So we can still move without any problem. In this last section, we will implement ragdoll physics and prevent our character from taking more damage when it's dead. I won't explain the details about ragdoll physics because I already have a video about it. Link in the description. In the character blueprint, create a new function and name it perform death. First, set the variable can be damaged to false which will make our character to not take any additional damage after his death. Next, create another function and call it ragdoll. Here, I will quickly do the setup of the ragdoll activation. Set collision profile name from the mesh component and set it to ragdoll. Set simulate physics from the mesh component and set it to true. Disable movement from the character movement component. Attach component to component setting camera boom as the target and mesh as the parent. Also set pelvis as socket name. Set do collision test from camera boom and set it to false. Let's go back to perform death and use the new ragdoll function. Last, use the perform death function when the unhealth depleted event occurs after the print string. Compile, save, and press play. You will notice that when the health reaches zero, we can no longer move, ragdoll physics activate, and we no longer can take any damage. And that's it for the first episode of Health and Damage series. I hope you liked it. If so, I invite you to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on social networks. I'll be uploading Unreal Engine 5 tutorials frequently, and right now, I'm working on an entire course for beginners. Thank you for joining, and hope to see you in the next video.